Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to showcase star rating in your Power BI report without using any custom widgets. For example, I have a list of employees over here. When I select ME employee over here, it is now displaying five stars for that particular employee. Likewise, when I select Sundar employee over here, we're now displaying 3.5 stars for this particular employee. So this is what I will be teaching you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. First of all, let me show you the data set that I have over here. It's a very simple data set, which is the employee name and their respective star rating that I have against them. What I will now do is I'm going to create a couple of measures over here. I'm going to create a first measure called as max underscore rating is equals to, I need to identify what is the max rating that I have in my data set I'm going to use the max function double x function and then say all of my rating table close the bracket the reason why I'm using all over here is because I want this particular max function to ignore any of the filters that I'm applying on this particular table followed by a comma and then here I'm going to choose the star column that I have I'm going to close the bracket here and press enter now you will see that I've created a new measure which is defining the max value from the star column over here. If I choose any other employee over here, I'm going to get the same max rating as five over here. And now I'm going to create another measure here to calculate the difference between the actual rating that they have in our data set versus the max rating. So a new measure here called as difference rating is equals to, I'm going to say max rating minus max of star column from my rating table i'm going to press enter over here so this is now my difference rating for example let me bring in the actual rating of the employee sudha who's got a four star rating so difference here is one because we're calculating the difference here with five and our max rating is five over here now let's jump over to PowerPoint and create some stars over here. I'm going to go here to shapes, insert, and then click on star over here. I'm going to add a star and under size and properties, I'm going to change the size here to 2.54 centimeter, which is nothing but one inch by one inch. And then I'm going to create a copy of them. I'm going to create five stars and just align them all together. Once these are properly aligned, I'm going to select all of them over here. I'm going to choose a gradient fill. I'm quite happy with this yellow that I have over here and then under line here I'm going to select no line and then I'm going to create a copy of these stars over here and then I'm going to say no fill over here and select a solid line over here and let's change this to black and now I have the outline created as well I'm going to select the stars over here just the outline stars I'm going to right click and click on save as picture and call this as outline stars make sure that this is getting saved in png format i'm going to click on save i'm going to repeat the same thing here for the yellow stars as well save as picture and call this as yellow stars and then i'm going to click on save let's jump back into bi now i'm going to go to the insert tab click on image add in the stars that we created i'm going to repeat the same process again to add the yellow stars as well let me quickly realign them and just bring them over here now we need to add a bar chart over here. Let's add a bar chart and then let's bring in the uh, value which is difference rating. And you will see that our X axis range here uh, is from zero to four. And when I select Sudha over here, it changes from zero to one. This is something that we do not want. We want the axis to be fixed. So we'll head over to the format tab. First of all, let's turn off the title. Let's turn off the uh, Y axis and then under X axis over here, let's define the minimum and maximum range so that it remains constant. My minimum value here is zero. My maximum value here depends on the max rating measure that we created. I'm going to click on OK. And now we have a standard or fixed X axis range. And then I'm going to turn off the title as well for the X axis. And then I'm going to also turn off the x-axis over here. Basically turn off the x-axis, y-axis and the title as well. And now we need to invert the range so that the bar appears on the other side. And now let's rearrange this particular bar over here. Let me just resize this and let me just pull this over here. So you just need to realign the bar chart over here so that the stars fit in right within that particular bar over here.
and now let's go back to the format tab over here under size and style i'm going to turn off the background and get rid of the max rating and instead add the difference rating and now let's go back to the format tab and under bars over here let's change this to white so that that particular star gets hidden and now when we play around this particular visual over here it still does not work because we just need to uh, come back to the selection over here and send the bar chart above the yellow stars right and now let's play around with the selection over here so Hasina employee has got three stars and the difference here is two stars the max rating is five our calculation is now working and we are able to only see three stars likewise if I select Amy over here we're going to be seeing five stars because her rating is five stars if I select Sudha over here or Sundar over here who's got 3.5 stars we can perfectly see 3.5 stars visible for that particular employee now it's time to show us the outline of the remaining stars so what we will now do is just resize this particular stars over here and just bring them just above this particular section over here and under the selection pane over here just bring the outline stars above everything over here and now when we play around with the employees over here you will see that we've we are displaying four stars for our wind over here while the remaining one star is blank and then we have Shah employee over here who's got just got two stars and three stars here are blank so this is how you can create stars within power bi i hope you found this tutorial helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials